But on daily business, European Union failed to uh, vote their seven years budget, 2021-2028. Um, so that's a big hurdle in existence of this organization. Uh, not the first one of such, but also we saw the ideological uh, proceedings from the European Union leadership, the Germany and France, in particular Germany, wanted to tie the uh, European funds with the uh, ideological and political demands. Professor Zbigniew Krysiak, Warsaw School of Economics and Institute of Schumann Thought, is our guest tonight, and you are watching the European Union for a long time, and you are calling for reform of this institution. So welcome to the show, first of all. Uh, yeah, so so the, so the reform. Uh, yeah, uh, nice to be here. Thank you. Yeah, let us uh, describe how do you see the need for the reform and how the reformed uh, European Union should work. Yeah, this uh, we need to come back to the. I mean, uh, community of European nations, uh, according to the Schuman idea, which worked, you know, over let's say uh, two three decades. And uh, after, you know, the uh, Artiello Spinelli ideology came on the board in uh, 1980, uh, that uh, this direction was changed to the super state. So the super state uh, in long term, even if this practically uh, would be imposed or implemented, that uh, the uh, uh, end effect of the super state would be the same like the Soviet Union. Probably such a super state would stay uh, alive over, let's say, uh, 40, 50 years, then uh, at the very end is going to be um, bankrupted. Uh, so uh, therefore the reform which is needed, basically, we need to change the uh, functioning and the structure uh, of the man managers in the European Commission. We see that the main, uh, uh, I mean, uh, seats uh, occupied in the European Commissions are by Germans and the Fre uh, French people, so especially Germans. And we currently notice that, you know, the Germany having a presidency, you know, is trying very strongly imposing this ideology. So the European Commission basically is just uh, giving the uh, certain uh, uh, decisions. This is very surprising, you know, the European Parliament is in fact not making the decisions. The all, you know, input for uh, a certain, I mean, uh, regulations are coming from the uh, European Commissions, where uh, European Commission, when where Germany uh, has a majority, and we need to change this. Without changing the European Commission, I mean, in terms of a number of directors sitting in the European Commissions, representing representing uh, proportionally the population of the. Um, particular states, we are not able um, to go uh, to go ahead. So this is a very crucial thing because this is an example where we do not see the democracy. You know, if the European Commission, which is a major institution, you know. Uh, impacting the different activities of the European Parliament and the activities of the national par parliaments as well, you know, uh, then it is uh, bringing us to the not democratic, you know, uh, model of the European Union. So we need to wake up, you know, and change this very much with the activities of a uh, right-wing parties like, you know, a Fidesz of Orban, like a, a, a Law and, and Justice uh, of the Kaczynski in Poland, and as well Fox in Spain, and many uh, uh, right-wing parties which have, which need to integrate together and as well establish in the European Parliament the fra Schumann fraction. So this is going to integrate a very uh, big number of uh, um, members of the European Parliament, and this can be a kind of a, a I mean, a, a entity which will have a bigger impact. Currently, uh, there is a atomization. So like Orban is just sitting in the 
uh, APP party and APP party have in fact a big impact on the uh, decision making process. So Orban should, you know, integrate together with the law and justice from Poland, with the Vox party, with all others, you know, and as well many members of the APP party are just uh, in favor of the uh, Europe of Schuman. So this process is going to in, uh, create a, some certain, I mean, um, yes, critical mass, sir, which right will, you now, know, impact this process. Let me in, in say a few words, because right now we are in the situation when European Union has the euro. Uh, most of the countries are using this um, currency in their internal markets. We uh, There are plans for European army, there are, but most of all, they are increasing powers of the European Commission, and it started at Maastricht Treaty, right now is the Lisbon Treaty, um, operational, and we can expect that this uh, small crawling movements will lead us to the European uh, super, power, super state. Uh, can we have another idea that will be as captivating as the creation of the super state? and uh, sell it to the European nation. But very briefly, if this is possible, please tell us. Uh, yeah, it is possible, you know, I mean, uh, to create, for instance, a platform of the media uh, within the uh, Frisis area, uh, uh, Poland, Czech, you know, uh, Hungary and all this, at least uh, 12 countries, because there is not a certain communication channel which can, you know, deliver the uh, uh, picture of that, uh, that, you know, the, in fact, not majority is in favor favor of the superstate and in fact in Europe in favor of the Schumann's Europe uh, is in majority so very few just leaders just uh, uh, members of the European Parliament uh, some you know so called the leaders in the Brussels they are in fact compared to the entire population in Europe in uh, th th there is a very small uh, there is a small group of people and uh, the uh, certain media platform and as well the integration between between uh, 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 right-wing parties in Europe. We can is... make a difference by this, by, by uh, saying yes. together the things that majority of European thinks, but uh, their voice is not being heard. This is, uh, as I understand, your, your point in this yes. discussion. Uh, Professor Zbigniew Krysiak, Warsaw School of Economics and Institute of Schumann Thought was our guest tonight, sir. Thank you for Thank you very much. participation. You. That was it for Poland Daily Business. And obviously, we will be back same time tomorrow. So don't forget to tune in.